If you or somebody that you know is struggling with anxiety, depression, any of that, I want you to stay with us today. I've got guests from Rock House Center and we're gonna address God's way through all of those things. I'm so glad that you've joined us for Bridges today. I'm Monica Schmelter and if we are all honest, we've all struggled with things like anxiety, depression, and just all the things that can cause us to be fearful about what's next, what's happening in the world. And so we're gonna to talk to two people who have really studied so much on the subject and are helping people face and walk through all of these situations. My guests today are John and Beth Murphy, and it's good to have you back. Thank you, it's delightful to be Welcome here. Welcome back, Great it's to really be here. good to see you. And John, I'm glad to see you as well. Mm -hmm. Great to be here. So I know, John, that you guys have been very busy mm -hmm. at Rock House Center. Yes, we have. But for maybe those that haven't met you before, haven't seen you on Bridges, could you just give us a highlight of what your mission is? Our mission is to transform the world with kingdom principles. Mm -hmm. That was the idea. And what we realized is that we were very effective in our process of trying to help people uh, in dealing with their emotional struggles. Mm -hmm. And so we started to really focus on the people who are really hurting. And so for the last 15 years, we have been trying to find new and better ways to help people deal with their emotional issues in the context of their faith. Yeah. So that's really been what it's uh, all about. It started off with the book, Be Transformed, New Life Awaits. That evolved into a workbook uh, that we use with our clients every day. And it's now evolved further into a very defined 16-week process mm -hmm. where people are having really phenomenal results. And God has really been showing up and having great outcomes. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. and, that, and that's wonderful to hear about the results and that you all, faith is a part of everything that you do. Mm -hmm. And I know Beth, one of the things that people would wonder is, okay, so you do all that and how is that different or is that different from just regular counseling? It's a great question and it is totally different. It, it, the only similarity would really be that the counselor sits and talks with someone. Certainly mm -hmm. that engages and goes on. But beyond that, it's very different from talk therapy. It's very different from anything that's behavior focused because behavior health by definition is very focused on behavior like anger management to deal with anger. We deal with the root cause that's underneath the anger mm -hmm. if that's the situation or the anxiety or the depression or the marriage relationship problems, the parenting issues. We're looking at those things as symptoms and, and going, we call it sort of like going upstream to get at where is this coming from? What, what mm -hmm. is this a symptom of? Yeah. And so, you know, relational problems where maybe I get really upset about certain topics or take offense easily, somebody pushes my buttons, so to speak, well, we help them resolve the buttons, you right. know, not change mm -hmm. the way, not instruct them on how to behave differently right. or talk differently to their spouse. We're going to help them resolve what's underneath the number 10 response to a number two situation. And what you're really talking about is really more of a permanent fix. Because mm -hmm. we know that behavior right. therapy mostly doesn't work that well, mm -hmm. right? Yep. It's not sustainable. Right, you know, it's like you try really hard not to do, not to get angry or you try really hard yep. not to use drugs right. when you feel, right? And you, or you try really mm -hmm. hard not to get angry with your spouse. And so that can be really hard for people, and especially for Christians. I think we feel really guilty then mm -hmm. when we fail yep. because it's like a cycle of, mm -hmm. like if we haven't resolved mm -hmm. the buttons, exactly. right? Then every time those get pressed, I may overreact. Mm -hmm. Like you said, I, I attend to a situation too, yeah. but you're trying to help people get inside to what are these buttons how we can how we can obliterate them so that I'd be able to have a, a normal conversation right. with someone. A great right. example is the yeah. whole idea of anger management and doing anger therapy. So we deal with the anger. Anger therapy is about the, the anger bubbles up and then my mind takes hold, my thinking takes hold, my training takes hold so that I can redirect that anger mm -hmm. and have the outcome I want. But we don't deal with any of those things. We go all the way down in here and go, why are you angry? Mm -hmm. And remove the anger so that we call it first thought response change. That's when we know we're getting really significant movement when the same situation doesn't stir up the old negative responses. Okay. So that's really going to the root cause. And I keep pointing to my heart because that's where it is. Right. We've really seen the difference between the head and the heart. It's the head that says, I know I shouldn't have the extra dessert, but it's the heart that says, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna have it anyway, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's the difference between the two. Yeah. So up here, it's all logical and rational reasoning, mm -hmm. but down here, it's what's our 
drivers. Right. So we're getting really at that core thing. So right. that's the difference. And God and, can get there and make those changes. And he mm -hmm. wants to. Absolutely. You know, I know that I've listened mm -hmm. uh, to many of your podcasts and I, for everyone that I've listened to, I found really helpful because it's talking right. about practical things. Like, mm -hmm. you know, for the Christian person, we want peace. God said that God says we can walk in peace. Mm -hmm. But just talk to Christians and they'll tell you they're not in peace. Exactly. Right. And then there's anger and frustration because it's and guilt because like I'm not living that life right. like I should be living. Mm -hmm. And so you've used a lot of, you know, your process terms and those things. Mm -hmm. Would you be able, and I know you have to keep people anonymous, could you give us an mm -hmm. example? of someone or a situation that's been resolved where you got to the root and you saw these great results? Yeah, we get to the sure. root all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, that's just, that's our process, that's where we go. And so, yes, we'll have people who will tell us that uh, they're now in a different place for their spouse because they don't see their spouse as the sole source of their well-being and they're looking more to God for it. So as we remove the spouse from the God socket, as we call it, and allow them to help them and show them how to build that relationship of dependency there and get their worth there and their assurance there, then they're able to more have peace and they're more able to have a more normal relationship with their spouse, mm -hmm. uh, a place where uh, people have uh, draws to self-destructive behavior. Yeah. But the self-destructive behavior really is something like an alcohol or a comforting thing. And, and so we help them see, first off, the cause. Why am I getting disrupted? And then the next thing is, all right, now we need to move to God who is the comforter. Let's now realize that that's not going to comfort you. So, yeah, so I just finished up with a client recently who went through a whole list of ways in which he was super, he was just peaceful in ways he never uh, he never uh, expected. He was basically in a very high stress job, always stressed, always striving. And he uh, reported that he'd gone three weeks and had been totally peaceful for three weeks. Uh, he reported that changes in his relationship with his spouse, changes in the relationship with his uh, family. Uh, he found that his pulls towards self-destructive behaviors and obsessions were just drying up and going away. Mm -hmm. So uh, as he said, he's going to be a hallelujah shout from the mountaintops promoter of Rock House going forward because mm -hmm. his whole life has changed. And that's what really I was telling him. I said, you know, the guy that you were uh, four weeks ago, four months ago, uh, is not the guy you are today. And he thought about that and said, yeah, the things that make him tick are not what drives me anymore. And so those are the kinds of uh, sort of, that's mm -hmm. sort of a generic um, testimony because that's pretty much what people are telling us. Mm -hmm. They're not the person they used to be. And I think it fits into what God's plan is, is that God's plan is to sanctify us progressively throughout our relationship Absolutely. so that we reflect more mm -hmm. of Christ's character, which is what? amazing supernatural peace right in the middle of the big mess. Right. So that's what, that's the sort of the track we're on is trying yeah. to connect with that plan of God's. Yeah. And when I hear you talk about that situation, John, of somebody, you know, working in a really high stress, very busy job, most people in those situations will, will report that they don't have peace. Like right. it's really stressful. Mm -hmm. And so they think, well, I can't quit the job, like, right? Cause that's my living. Right. But you're saying by getting the heart help, Yep. A person could stay in that job, but it's the heart that changes Yeah, and, a, and they're and better a, able to deal and with it. And a great it. example is, is if they're totally relying on their performance for worth and provision, mm -hmm. then they're, they're being controlled by that. Yeah. So we try to move them over. Well, God is about establishing your worth and your peace needs to come from provision. He may use your job to provide for you, but where you get peace needs to come from him. That's the only thing you can really trust. Right. As that movement takes place, it's phenomenal how people's existence and just their way in which they do their life and the way mm -hmm. it feels really changes. Mm -hmm. And you've probably got some great examples too. Yeah. yeah, just even from the last week, I'm thinking about a, a report from a, a woman client who came in thinking that she really was going to have to leave her job. She just really could not survive this mm -hmm. situation. And we always encourage people when they're thinking about a big decision like that, leave a job, leave a marriage, if they would just wait till the end of this process to make that big decision, if they can wait, just to wait because they might feel really differently and then because their decision making processes will change. And she ultimately, long before she finished, came around to going, I don't know what what was I thinking? I don't, I don't see a problem here. I don't need to leave that. I'm, I'm not in conflict with my boss anymore. Uh, all these circumstances have changed because her responses to the circumstances, which themselves had not changed, her responses had changed so much. She's flourishing in her job now. You know, that's amazing because mm -hmm. some people work at jobs miserable their entire yeah. lives mm -hmm. because yeah. it pushes our buttons or, th exactly. right, or this happens or we feel like we're doing a really great job and we're not getting appreciated for mm -hmm. that. I mean, there's any number of things right. and we mostly all of us experience that. Now, you mentioned the process and 
you kind of ask people, if possible, to wait. To, so what amount of time are you asking people to wait? Like, is this a certain amount of weeks that you go mm -hmm. through or? The great thing about the biblical counseling at Rock House Center, which is our proprietary form, we call it motive transition therapy, and it's a defined duration process. So we do 16 two-hour sessions, which people can do weekly or bi-weekly. And so in 16 weeks or double that time, if you're gonna be meeting every other week, you will come to the end of our process. You may choose to have some refresher sessions or whatever, but our goal is to have people feel like they're launched into a whole new season of their life, experiencing life in a very different way. So, you know, we know people who were clients five and 10 and 15 years ago, but not because they're still clients. Mm -hmm. They may be in the Rock House network of people who are taking others through our Be Transform workbook, or they're in some way sort of on the discipleship track using our resources, but we don't see clients in the ongoing way that can happen in the behavior health sphere. Well, because that's really common. I know people that have done talk therapy and counseling and yeah. even counseling that's called biblical counseling mm -hmm. where years and years and years right. and years, and yes. they're still dealing yeah. with problems mm -hmm. and junk mm -hmm. and heaviness and depression. Yes. So this process, how did you, did you come up with it? Mm -hmm. uh, well, I think uh, I'm, presumption is that the Lord showed it to me, so yeah. I'm not really taking credit for yeah. it, but I was able to see yeah. something that was that was very effective in the process of helping people change. And again, mm -hmm. it comes from this scripture, the second Thessalonians scripture, that salvation is the first fruit of the working of sanctification. And you go, wow. So sanctification is a lifelong process yes. of something that God wants for us. Mm -hmm. What does he want for us? Romans 8, 29. He wants us to reflect inwardly who Christ is. Amen. So now we have a target. So this is basically the process of doing a gap analysis. Here's Christ's heart. Here's your heart. Let's figure out what's different. Let's see where it is that you have places that you're suffering and let's bring those places, Lord, get those things healed up. And then as we just step through that, and also we focus on seven main category, categories of Christ's heart, like humility and forgiveness and um, uh, love mm -hmm. and oneness that he has with all those kinds of things are, that kind of help us to find what it is we're looking for those differences to be. Yeah. Uh, but that is really the process. It starts uh, with coming in, with doing an intro session. We just explain uh, people's life to them, how you got in the place where you are exactly uh, mm -hmm. so that they can understand that it is natural they would be where they are based on their life story. And then we say, and here's what we can do, and here's the 16 weeks, and this yeah. is going to be the outcome. Yeah. And the people who engage, the it's just phenomenal, the results, because God shows up, God is, is trustworthy. Yeah. What, what I think is so interesting about what you just said is that you really do, based on what God showed you, you have a goal. Like, do you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like yeah. in yes. some forms of talk therapy, like, right, you, yeah. you just, I go and I just want to feel better. Yeah. <laughs> and this, this, right. and this is wrong, but I don't, there's no really goal. I just wanted all the madness to stop. Right. But you use Christ's heart. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's a place we're going here. Yeah. It's God's place he wants to take us all. And so we're just capturing God's process of getting people there. He mm -hmm. established it all, we just see it and we yeah. bring it and we've sort of codified it and put it in a process so you can actually not have this take 35 years. Right. You can have it in 16 weeks. You can mm -hmm. have some really yeah. significant movement in your yeah. life and you feel your life can feel very different to the extent that you engage in our process. We, that, you know, that's amazing. We've got to take a break. I want you to stay with us. We will be right back on Bridges in just a moment. For more information on today's guest, visit the website on your screen. If you're looking for ways to grow your faith, we invite you to go to monicaschmelzer.com where you can watch Bridges interviews and Monica's teachings on demand. You'll also find free online extras that offer practical ways to live out your faith. Visit monicaschmelzer.com where you'll find hope because truth changes everything. Join the Bridges community on Facebook. Visit Facebook and search for Bridges with Monica. We would love to connect with you. If you're just joining us today on Bridges, my guests are with Rock House Center, and Rock House Center really is able to provide resources and counseling to people all over the world. And we're talking about their process and how all of us can get the help that we need. And uh, so Beth, we were talking about now your online 
resources and things so that people who may be watching anywhere in the country, it's not just for people who are local here in Nashville. Yes, and we're delighted to have both the, the ability to do online uh, counseling sessions, which we do all over the world, but now the online resources, which are <clears throat> three different marriage resources, and the online uh, Be Transformed New Life Awaits experience, which incorporates our workbook, the videos and questions and prayers, and an online experience where you can journal your thoughts and your answers. Mm -hmm. And um, then the Pathway to Peace is an eight-day course that's a, or eight day devotional that John created as our gift when the whole COVID thing hit last year in terms of realizing the level of disruption this was causing in people's mm -hmm. lives. And so that is free and will always be free on our website. And there, are there any other resources I'm not remembering? Well, in general, all over the website, we have articles and stories oh, yeah. and other kinds of things that have always been there. So there's all, we've always put a lot on the website so people can mm -hmm. get a taste of what we do. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. and, and just, kind of get started because I think that, exactly. you know, it's a, only very brave people <laughs> reach out for the help that we all need, right? Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. it's easier sometimes we think it is right. not to face it yes. or to just think that we can pray it away. Mm -hmm. But there's something about facing the truth yep. and looking at our life and saying, gosh, I just need some help. There's nothing right. wrong with that. Yep. That doesn't make us weak. Right. Mm -hmm. actually, makes us it, brave. It, actually, it does. Yeah. And it does. You have to go and start talking about things that are uncomfortable to talk about. Mm -hmm. I mean, nobody wants to do that or focus on that. They rather right. focus on something else. But the most important thing about these resources is that we wanted to get to the people who really just couldn't cross that line. Yeah. So you can go on and mm -hmm. do the Be Transform online experience, and you can get a significant amount of improvement, and nobody can ever know. Because, you know, we have a lot of people who have things that they're just too embarrassed about sure. to talk about. So it was just really important to us for the person who wants to a efficient, lo low cost, anonymous uh, um, option. That's really what that's there for. So we're hoping to be able to help that whole group of people who are interested in, in engaging on that level. Yeah. And I, I would imagine that there are just so many. I would think so. Just so many. Yeah. You had mentioned, Beth, COVID and this last year. Have you all noticed like that more people are reaching out for help because of how disruptive it's been? We've had a pretty good, uh, consistent and growing level. I mean, we've added four counselors in the last six months, if that kind of answers your question. Yeah, it does. So <laughs> there's been a, it's been a very consistent uh, inquiry um, track with people trying to check in. Yeah. I think one of the things that we're just noticing is that everybody seems to have had their sort of grid for how they stayed peaceful pre-COVID and cre and COVID kind of broke that grid down. Absolutely. It just mm -hmm. said, okay, well then now I, the things that I counted on, I can see this is bigger than what I was counting on. Mm -hmm. So now I'm actually feeling my disruption of peace and I need to get help. So yeah. I think that's kind of behind it a lot. Yeah. I think about things that I've talked about with some of my friends in terms of COVID is like uh, people had maybe a certain time in their house alone. Okay, but now with COVID, more yeah. people are there. So mm -hmm. that alone yeah. time, yep. kind of that sacred space, that's yep. gone. It's all it's all a new normal. It's not that it's awful, it's just mm -hmm. adjustment. Mm -hmm. Children are home, mm -hmm. children are schooling at home, yep. church is happening online, uncertainty about people getting together in groups, mm -hmm. right? It, mm -hmm. It's been a really large, Big, yeah. in, big impact. And if you look at some of the behavior health stats, they're talking about way more prescriptions, way more uh, suicidal things, mm -hmm. way more depression things. So it's very real. People yeah. are really suffering. It is. And, you know, we talked about your online resources and store and all that. I've really enjoyed your podcast. Mm -hmm. What are some of the topics? I just found them to be very practical and very helpful. That's great to hear. Well, yeah, that is great to hear. So we've just done a run recently on peace related things and um couple of weeks back, one on fighting for your peace, mm -hmm. which is that it's worthy to fight for. And we think of peace as the gold standard in our lives. And you mentioned earlier that, you know, things we think of as the fruit of the spirit, peace, joy, patience, kindness, that we all read those in scripture, but most Christians feel like they're elusive Absolutely. or unavailable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what clients at Rock House find is when they begin to experience some peace, they realize they maybe have never had any in their mm -hmm. lives before and it becomes this valuable thing they want to protect. So we even talk in the language of losing your peace. And so you have to first get the frame of reference of getting it in the first place and then fighting to keep it and recognizing that there are 
all sorts of um, attacks from the outside to rob you of your peace. Mm -hmm. And we're helping direct people to understand that that's not okay, that's not God's design. Mm -hmm. And that to recognize the losses of peace is something to indicate going to God for. So there are, there are a lot on those sorts of themes. There are um, relationship oriented things like marriage related things. There's one called fighting over dumb stuff. <laughs> and I think a lot of no people. No one's done that ever, <laughs> right? <laughs> no they've, one. They've heard of someone maybe. Yeah. One someone else has done that or they've mm -hmm. seen someone do that. Mm -hmm. So, but realizing that in truth, they may sound like, so we're fighting over where to go to eat for lunch after church, and that seems dumb, so I feel stupid that I'm doing that, except that there's always very legitimate reasons. Yeah. There, It's connected to something. It's hitting a big powder keg inside, and so we want to help people get at, why does that yeah. feel so bad? Why is that so upsetting? And you don't want to be fighting with right. your husband over that or fighting with your children over their decision about when they're going to do their homework, but it's just flying all over you. So you mentioned, uh, you know, the pressures of this past year, the relationship pressures on marriages and on parents with children or feeling like they should homeschool, but they're all stressed out about trying to do that. Uh, all of that is revealing all these underlying things. And so like back on the podcast topics, there's a whole group on parenting related things, what your child needs to hear from you. One of what, them is, why can't they just stop it? That's, <laughs> yeah, that's the title. Yeah, which relates <laughs> to your spouse or, or your child or whatever. <laughs> or it's, why can't I just stop it? Mm -hmm. You know, that thing that I'm so embarrassed, I'm so tired of doing that and going back to that same rut. What in the world's wrong with me? Right. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it digs into that. Mm -hmm. And there are answers, there are reasons. And, and then there's resolution to helping people get to where they can stop it. Yeah. And that's an important part because every podcast is designed with, here's the information, let's bring some revelation and, and some uh, understanding about where people are. And then we lead them all in a prayer, the same kinds of prayers, the same structure that we would lead anybody in in the, in the office. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to actually move our uh, our process and the effectiveness out beyond us. And that's one of the reasons why Beth was talking about we're engaging our clients, the ones who have this, well, a very common thing is that first off is why doesn't everybody in, on the planet know this already? Why is this coming to me as a new thing? I've been a believer for years, that's the first thing. And then it is, I need to help everybody else get this out there because mm -hmm. I want more of this for me and I want more for other people. So we have a mission of trying to help the entire world, but we're not gonna do it in our offices. So we're very big on trying to engage our uh, people who complete our program to grab a workbook and love somebody through it. <clears throat> Let's get a multiplier going on here. Yeah. So that's kind of, and then we'll always be the safety net for if you bump into something that's too, a little too stout for you to handle, right. we can do that in the counseling scenario. Because people, we all have different things. Some things are large enough that mm -hmm. you really need mm -hmm. a counselor and a process. Yep. Mm -hmm. There are other people, maybe they're not at that level. It's just kind of the everyday things. But when I think about uh, what you're talking about, the podcast things, why can't you stop it? Why mm -hmm. can't I stop it? Right? Don't those sound like some of our prayers? Like, mm -hmm. I mean, haven't I just focused sometimes yeah. on God? Could you just help yeah. me stop that? Yeah. And the frustration <laughs> right. that like, right. I'm not stopping that, mm -hmm. or he's not stopping that. Mm -hmm. Like, these are the places that we all live. Mm -hmm. And I think, especially for us as believers, there's that additional guilt and shame of, I know I shouldn't be doing this, but I am. Yeah. Well, our, our perspective on that is that if we just pray and ask God to take off the behavior, that's not really what he's trying to accomplish. Not at he's all. He's trying to accomplish the heart change, <laughs> which, which drives the behavior. Mm -hmm. So that's where we focus, where we think is where he right. really wants the movement to take place. Right. And that he, you know, I can look back at some earlier prayers and it was all about having God stop all of these things with other people, right? Yeah. So that I yeah. could feel better. Exactly. But then, you know, I had to come to the conclusion that that's not what God wants to do at mm -hmm. all. Mm -hmm. He wants my heart to be like his yep. and for none of that to impact me in those kinds of ways. And, mm -hmm. you know, yes. that takes maturity, that takes work. And I mm -hmm. do think that sometimes it just takes a counselor to help us. Yes, and to sort of help us see our blind spots yeah. that we can't see, or as we say, it's 
trying to do it on our own sometimes can feel like trying to read the label on the bottle from inside the bottle. I can't uh, see that. Yeah. I, and so, you know, the James scripture about confessing to one another is a very real thing mm -hmm. where you get into a safe situation where there's zero chance you'll be judged because all of us as counselors have experienced the same heart issues. I may not have done all those different behaviors because I didn't think of them or I wasn't drawn to that, right. but I've had the same heart issue of every client that's walked in the door at Rock House Center. Mm -hmm. And so have all of our counselors and we understand that. So it's the understanding that so that we can then allow someone to help us open the doors that God wants to open for us. It's really important thing to also recognize that almost every one of our counselors have actually been through the program mm -hmm. and most of our counselors came as clients. So the people who come and then they've gone through the program and they just have this fire to help other people go through the program mm -hmm. and then over a period of time when the time is right, we invite them in to be a part of our team. Mm -hmm. So we don't go out trying to find people in the behavior health industry uh, and try to convert the secular therapy and approach. We look for people who are on fire yes. and have got the fire so they can right. share it. And that's well, and, our whole approach to, to yeah. grow. And people have actually done the process. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that they can relate. They I have think, a testimony. Yes. I, you know, I think of Jesus. He was tempted at all points. He went through everything that we, we are tempted with or we go through. Mm -hmm. So that makes him the perfect advocate. He mm -hmm. understands. Mm -hmm. And I think that's so important, especially when we're dealing with, why can't I stop this? Why can't he stop this? The madness. We need understanding not judgment. Yes. So one of the, the ways that's playing out right now mm -hmm. uh, in, the, in the most dramatic way we've seen it in a while is we've opened an office in the Pacific Northwest in Washington State as a result of one client in Franklin recommending us to a friend of hers in Washington State. And he went through the program, has this giant turnaround testimony. Wow. And we've now had 35 or more clients in that area, as well as a whole division helping pastors that's developing. And he's a counselor for us, doing sessions from Washington State all over the country, as well as people locally there, all from one man's testimony. It's amazing. Yeah, it's a powerful thing. One of the, on your earlier point, where God wants us to be is that other people <clears throat> in situations don't control our peace. Exactly. He wants us to be at peace and that those people cannot rob us of our mm -hmm. peace. And uh, just cut to your earlier point, it's a really, I think that's really one of his uh, heart desires for us. Yeah, and it's because he wants the best for us. And mm -hmm. that's the only way that we can be strong mm -hmm. is in him. In him. And that yeah. if no matter what happens, yeah. that we're still okay. Yeah. And that's like a really brave, right? Mm -hmm. That yes. you, you know, I think when I look at my life, I've worked so hard to do all of that mm -hmm. when it was this. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. And that's sure. one of the things because most people see it and say, I'm in pain. Yeah. I see that thing has occurred. So that mm -hmm. must be why. Yeah. So that's exactly. just our natural focus. That's what we and think. it's just time to redirect. You know, like, how about we cut yeah. you loose? It doesn't matter what happens over yes. there. God's got peace for you. Exactly. I am sorry that we're out of time, but thank you both for coming. It's been so good to have you. Thanks for having it's us. It's been a delight to be here. Thanks for watching Bridges. Don't miss another episode of Bridges. Subscribe to our YouTube channel today, where you can find all of Monica's latest teachings and interviews. It's easy to do. Just visit youtube.com, search Monica Schmelter, and click subscribe. Once you are subscribed, click the bell icon to get notified when a new episode is available to view. Thanks for watching Bridges. Don't give in. God's word says you're an overcomer. It takes training. It takes discipline. And so when you're fighting that good fight of the faith, you take your story, whatever it is, and you saturate it in faith and you fight for it. Visit monicaschmelter.com to schedule Monica to speak at your next event.